What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today some more Samsung Galaxy content for you guys. We're gonna be talking about the gallery app on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or any Samsung phone running One UI 4.1. Now, a lot of people use Google Photos and I honestly love Google Photos. It's one of my favorite apps because it syncs across arrow devices, but Samsung's gallery app is also incredibly powerful and there's some things you can do with it that a lot of people don't know about. Some things that have been added recently and uh, also some hidden features that you can enable kind of like developer options in Android that are very helpful. So let's talk about a couple of these. I'm actually gonna move a couple of these simpler ones up front. We'll talk about the more advanced ones at the bottom. So the first thing is, of course, the gallery app on your device you can find right here called gallery. And uh, this is where all your photos are saved on your Samsung device by default. So the first thing that you can do, which is not really super hidden, but it is buried in the settings two taps away. You go down here to the hamburger menu, go to settings, and then right here at the top, you'll find sync with OneDrive. And so this is a nice feature because of course, if you don't use Google Photos and you use the Microsoft ecosystem on your PC, for instance, if that's your main computing platform, this is a nice thing because then it'll sync all the photos from your Samsung gallery and upload it to your OneDrive. So if you're using Microsoft Office 365, then that's obviously a great thing to do. I sync it anyway, just for redundancy, even though I really don't subscribe to the premium Microsoft Office 365 plan because I use Google Drive. I'm a lot more baked into the Google operating system, but of course I have five gigs of storage over there with my basic OneDrive plan. I'm considering upgrading that to the 100 gig plan, but I just don't use OneDrive enough. But for those of you who do use Microsoft a lot, this is a great option to keep in mind. The next thing is uh, Samsung suggested actions. And you guys just saw that as well. If you go down here to the bottom where you have the settings, you'll see suggestions and you'll see a little end there. That means there's new suggestions. So you may have seen this before, but it's just a good idea to know that if you have that little end there, it's a good idea to see what kind of new suggestions there might be. So a couple that I really like, the first one is to remaster certain photos. They can reduce blurring sharpen a blurry face, improve brightness and color, all those things. And you can basically just tap at the top. You can kind of zoom in, see here these the photos individually. And if you go up here, you can just do edit. You can select all of them. And then once you select all of these individually, you can then kind of remove those as you want from the suggestions. Uh, and so, you know, obviously if you want to do a particular one of these, just tap on the photo itself. It'll show you the before and after and uh, you can make a decision. So it does do a pretty decent job. You guys can see, particularly on this one where it's saying remove the blurring, it can do this. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and save it down here at the bottom. So very simple to use the suggestions. And then also the other one that I really like is to add a portrait effect. For instance, like on this one, this one doesn't have a portrait effect. You can add a little more bokeh. And oops, ooh, it crashed on me. Not a good look for Samsung right there. I was trying to show off some of their amazing software and they have their app crash on me. Let's see if we can get it to work. I haven't had that happen to me before, but uh, there we go. So you can enhance the blur either up or down, depending on how much you want. And then you can go ahead and apply it right there once you're happy with the blur effect and then it'll save it to your camera gallery. So very cool feature when it doesn't crash. So uh, I've never had that happen before, but you know, live video, it happens sometimes. Uh, the next thing is the labs feature. Now there's actually two places you can find labs inside of the Samsung gallery. The first place is if you're actually editing a photo and I'm gonna take this photo for a very particular reason because you guys can see that there's some reflections clearly because this is a photo I took in my office when I was demonstrating the Galaxy Watch 4 uh, remote camera shutter capabilities. If you go down here to the three dots menu, you'll see that uh, right here, you can see all of your different settings and things like that. And then if you go over here to the edit, you can actually hit the three dots menu again and you'll find labs right here. And you can enable shadow eraser and reflection eraser. This will erase shadows or reflections if you don't want them in there. It'll actually analyze it for those things um, if you're editing your photo. Now, the other thing, of course, you can also do is object eraser and object eraser is actually where you'll find the shadows and reflections. So if you go into Object Eraser and tap Erase Reflections, it'll go ahead and analyze reflections and then remove them from the photo. So you can kind of see here before and after. 
very clearly did a very good job of removing those reflections from this photo. And then you can save it. So this is a very great tool. I'm a really big fan of the things they've added in labs here. The reflections in shadow, in addition to object eraser, work really well. I would say they work almost as good, maybe just as good as object eraser or magic eraser on photos uh, that Google came out with. So that's a really cool feature. That's a labs feature. You can also enable more labs features, which is buried a little bit further in the settings. It's kind of like developer options on Android. You go down here to the three lines menu, go to settings, go down here to the bottom where it says about gallery. And then when you see the version here, you're gonna tap on this about seven or eight times. And it's gonna enable, I already did it, but it's gonna enable the gallery labs at the bottom here, which says it's an internal test only. These features can disappear at any time. It's stuff that Samsung is testing. But there is one really useful feature in here right now that I'd recommend you turn on, and that's convert HEIF images when sharing. This format is something that not all phones can natively view. So if you have a high-end phone like the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it's maybe nice courtesy to convert those before sharing in certain apps, especially if you know someone you're talking to doesn't have an S22 Ultra, then you can convert those. It makes it easier to share those types of images. There's other stuff in here as well, um, but that's one thing I use a lot. Some of these things too, though, about timeline and album, which I think is really cool. You can also change some of the information, the XIF data that's embedded in the photos, change location tags and things like that. There's a lot of fun stuff to play in here, play around with in here. If you're a photo and video nerd like I am, it's a lot of fun to play with. Anyway, those are some hidden features in the Samsung Gallery app. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. We are still doing our giveaway for the month of April. I'll drop the link below in the pinned comment and the description. If you guys have any other cool gallery features, hidden tips, or any other things you enable in Gallery Labs, let me know in the comments below and we can talk about it. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.